Finally, on News 5, a family from Custer County had several of their animals die, all within a short period of time. Their search for animals led them to contact a renowned UFO investigator who's based in Colorado Springs. And he met with our Andy Cohen just outside of Westcliff for this story about what might be happening to animals in southern Colorado. Early this spring, Thomas Walker had a half dozen animals on his land outside Westcliff. Four of them died within days. Pig was first, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, then two goats, then my mare. A couple weeks later, a steer that his grandson was raising for 4-H also died. What stood out to Thomas was how they all looked after they died. I have never seen any animal just fall over dead and no scratch mark, no pawing, no nothing. Right there. They tried to find a common explanation. The steer had its own show feed. The hog had its own show feed. The goats, they ate kind of everywhere. They also tested water samples, but there wasn't any contamination that would have harmed animals. You know, animals die. Yeah. But when they start coming after and one after another, but by the time we put two and two together, it, we couldn't have gotten anything on them goats anyway. Frustrated, they called UFO investigator Chuck Sikowski. When you don't know, you try and check every avenue. Zukowski is known nationwide for his theory about the paranormal superhighway. It's a theory that started with animal mutilation investigations. Um, I always kind of draw the way the animal was laying and what direction the animal was laying. I always put down um, the GPS coordinates. He said he was comparing notes on different cases and noticed that they tend to cluster around 37 degrees north latitude. This case matches that geographic profile, and so do some anomalies about the way the horse died in particular. Even the deputy said that, um, that I did a, and observe the anus had been removed from the horses. The edges appear to be very smooth. Those smooth cuts have been a unique part of animal mutilation cases in Colorado going back decades. Walker's horse was reportedly pregnant when it died, but no colt was ever found in the necropsy. The vet who performed the necropsy told Zukowski that there have been several other animal deaths in this part of the state. And that's scary to me because um, I know how to deal with the paranormal stuff, but if it's getting to viral <laughs> or, uh, you know, or, or something that's airborne, you know, the people that live in this area, they have a right to know. They need to know. So we visited one of the ranches where a large number of cows were reported to have died. The rancher would not allow us to film on his land, but showed us that that wasn't the case. He had dumped the carcasses of three or four cows in a ravine on his land. They all died from anaplasmosis, a form of yellow fever. And that diagnosis was backed up by the state veterinarian. We were aware of that diagnosis, and there were a number of people in the community that I think uh, were rightfully concerned. The state vet added that there was no common explanation for the deaths of all of the animals. For example, the cow that Walker's grandson was raising, it was a gift from those same ranchers. The necropsy didn't show anaplasmosis, but rather bloat. Zukowski said not all of his investigations will come up unexplained. There wasn't as many animals that were found dead, uh, and, they, and, and maybe not mysteriously. But you never know until you check. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thanks for checking. Andy, by the way, asked the state vet about the strange cut on the horse that died. He said that coyotes and other scavengers will chew at the soft tissue of those dead animals, and it can look like a clean cut. Mm.